everybody. Y'all can follow me on TikTok, Miss Rose Things, Instagram, Miss Rose Things, and of course, y'all can follow me here, right here on YouTube. So today, I'm gonna talk about that series that everybody is talking about. Okay, it's called Who the Fuck Did I Marry? Okay, so it's this lady, Risa Tisa. And by the way, y'all who are posting her content here on YouTube, they're getting thousands upon thousands of views for it. Like, how about we leave? her name on the TikTok and not just like erasing her name off or whatever you're doing because like really she should be getting the money that she needs from this whole series she made history she made black history as the first black woman to like make a whole 500 minute series mind y'all it was long it was 50 parts like it was hard to get through so Okay, so this lady, Risa Tisa, you know, she's a TikToker. She's almost at a million. She's probably made it to a million followers right by now because of the way she told this story. It was so in depth, so in depth and very detailed. Okay, so this lady, she met this guy, Legion, right? She met him on Hinge. Like, see, this turns me off of dating sites because, like, you never know what you're going to get. You can probably get a psycho like her, uh, somebody who might murder you, or just maybe it'd be the love of your life. I don't know. But, like, in this case, it was not it, okay? So, she was quarantined with dude, like, right off the bat. Like, two weeks in, you know, cold, it was around COVID times, and, like, you know, it was during the pandemic, and, you know, she... um she stayed with him. Um, he's had his own little place. So let me just start off in the beginning from what I can remember. I may not be able to remember it all, but I'm going to try to summarize it at my best and give my thoughts. Okay. So she says, you know, she was on hinge and, you know, she met Legion and, um, you know, they were on a date. He took her to Cheesecake Factory and, you know, they had a good time to set on the third. And then, um, so, you know, for the past two weeks, for the two weeks before COVID, they were hanging out all the time, going to places, this, that, and third. And then COVID came. So, you know, there was like, oh, shoot, do I quarantine with you? Do I quarantine? You want to quarantine with me? Because she was saying, I don't want to quarantine by myself. So, um, then, 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 then. He moved in with her. Now, I'm guessing he dropped his condo or wherever he was living at this point. Probably was living in a barn because this dude was staying lying. He was lying, 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 lying in a barn or whatever and started living with her. And he was basically telling her that, oh, you know, I'm a regional manager at this condiment place, this, that, and the third. And, you know, they were trying to... Um, you know, I might be missing some parts again. You know, go watch it. It's on TikTok, but go watch it. Or you can watch it right here on YouTube. People have been uploading her series again. Y'all shouldn't have did that. Just saying. And then, uh, okay, so there was one point in the story, you know, that they were dating. You know, they were in the house together. And then she got pregnant, okay? And she didn't want to stay where she was living at the time. Forget the counties. I, I can't remember all that. And um, so they started looking for a house. Mind you, Legion was like doing all this. Like she, here's where she kind of messed up. You should have put your opinion in. Because mind you, you didn't know this dude that long, you know, just saying. So you should have like, you know, put it in. But you know, she was pregnant and she was getting kind of stressed out. Because they were looking at all these houses. And you know, every time it was time. Because like, you know, if you house apartment whatever they asked for your bank statement right and you know you know proof of funds this that and the third and every time it was like he didn't want to show it or he kept making up excuses this that and the third and you know at the end of the day they actually they had looked at like a whole lot of houses there was like two different realtors maybe a third one it was a lady and basically you know they never got a house and then with her pregnancy right so, you know, one day she was at work, she was cramping or whatever, and, you know, basically they told her she was miscarrying, and they gave her three different options, and she chose the pill, she said she regretted it, so she did, a, um, she miscarried and gave her a DNC, you know, got got it, but here's the thing, here's the thing, dude, Legion, Legion was not there with her 
when, you know, she had to go get that surgery, okay? He said that he, you know, he is VP of the company now, and he had to have his first meeting, and this dude, Scott, or whatever, you know, was trying to say, oh, you know, yeah, you know, um, I almost said his real name, um, Legion, you know, he will be there when he can, you know, this meeting's running along, blah, 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 and then the nurses was like, what the heck is going on? Where is her fiance at this point? Like, where is he? He's not here with her or nothing, like... Some of these dudes they ish. Some of these dudes they ish. And then let me see what another part of the story that I remember. Okay. Um, so after all of this, you know, they continue looking for a house. And, you know, she had got a new job. I know I'm missing some parts. Again, you have to watch it. Um, had to get it. She was getting a new job. And her job asked for a background packet. And, you know, she needed Legion's um, name, his birth date, and his social security number. The social security number, the first three numbers, they were not right, okay? They were not right at all. So then this led her, like, she's doing some research already. Um, and basically, she found out that he lied. He also said that he had an ex-wife. Um, they lived in California. And, and he would go, he did go to San Diego State. And he had mentioned he was, like, a private citizen. You know, he did sports. That was a ball face lie because he never did sports. He never did no arena football or anything like that. So he had lied about that. So she, you know, she went digging. Ow. She went digging, okay? And she found the real truth. Like, turns out this dude had lied about everything. Everything that she said, he lied about everything, okay? And um, so sometime down the line, okay, I'm trying to remember because I finished watching it. Was it yesterday? Okay, so we're just going to jump down. So, you know, it's 2021, 20, and, you know, towards, I think, July, June, July, she wanted to get a divorce. So, you know, there's the divorce decree, the final divorce decree, and there was some part in the story, right, when, you know, she wanted to stay far away with him, far away from him. She did not trust this man, this and the third, and then he came over, right? And, you know, there was a warrant out for his arrest, okay? This is where the story gets juicy. Again, I, I'm going to reiterate this. I am missing some details of the story because um, there was a lot to remember. Um, so, he had came to the house and then the police was there. She was sitting in her car. The police came and, you know, arrested him. And, you know, he was saying, like, um, there was one part where her mom was on the phone aunt was on the phone and you know they were saying like she was like oh you lied about everything i want a divorce i want you to get out of my house i'm kicking you out blah 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 and then you know he was sitting there because i don't know i guess he was sick or something something with his knee we never get to know what it was but like it's this whole situation was sad for her not for him for her and i know some people are taking his side why just why y'all crazy if you take his side because all those things that he did to her crazy 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 like do not take his side okay and uh there was one point he lied about his whole family okay so he lied about having sisters he did not have sisters there's a sister named kim that was not his sister turns out it was a cousin okay um his twin brother does not want to have anything to do with him um turns out he had a wife before latoya she didn't know about that um what else um on tiktok latoya's son is coming out and talking about it and then like this lady on tiktok actually put the man's blame on blast and she did not want that you know for safety reasons you know because this dude he a little he's just a little okay he's a not a lot of something he a lot of something and um so let's get to the towards the end of the story so like she um like in december of 2021 she gets her divorce, you know, and then, like, the last time she heard from him was in December 21, 2021, and he tries to get his stuff back. Like, honey, she donated your ish. She donated it, or she threw it away, or whatever, and she moved into a whole new place, didn't want nothing to do with him, just on the third. Everybody's saying it should be a Netflix series. I agree, whatever, Hulu, whatever app. I would watch it, because it, the way she told the story, it was good. It was good. 
and it's a true story it's not like she made it up like it's a true story it's something that she's been going through and she did the series to get it off her mind my thoughts about this whole experience makes you want to online date a little less and you always i don't give out how long you've known a person or how little this is why when i was online dating on facebook dating I was doing background checks. I was just checking to see if this person was real or if they've been in jail or this or that. Because you never know. You never know with people. Like, you can't completely trust online dating. Which is the reason why I personally stopped online dating. I'm so glad that she decided to share her story. Because a lot, it's a lot of women need to hear. Because who knows, you might fall for a legion. And, you know, you might never know. Or you might fall for somebody who is a pathological liar like this man was. Like, he was lying the whole way through. Don't care. Like, he was lying the whole way through. There was nothing that he said was honest. Like, he did not play football. He was not no VP in no condiment building. And then there was a part where she wanted to see his office, right? And then she, he was basically making up phone calls. Like, this dude was making up phone calls, okay? Like, who the, are you? Who the, are you okay because it did not make any sense that he was making the phone calls just trying to prove a point when he could just been honest honest and be like yeah i'm a bum or this or that like i'm just a, a forklift contractor or whatever you are at that point like be honest honesty is the best policy now if y'all have watched it in whole i know i have forgot some details but for the details i forgot what did y'all think i thought this was a crazy story it showed on tiktok that we actually can talk a lot and people will pay attention well it depends but um yeah i hope you all enjoyed this a video a little mini summarization of the who the fuck did i marry and my thoughts on it i just think that we as women we have to be careful with the online dating thing because you never know who you're gonna get like we can't just jump into something just so as we see a fine hunk of man no matter what like we can't just jump into something you really need to get to know them first get to know them or make sure they're the right vibe because you never know. I mean, I've never run into this issue because I did online date in the past with uh, at least like two men and they weren't a problem at all. But you never know. Like, yeah, like you never know. Some might be a sex fiend or some might just be talking to somebody else on the side and be like, oh, she cute. Let me just keep her around, you know. But anyways, that is it for this video. Tell me, have y'all had a lesion in your life? I personally ne never had, and will does this rethink your online dating couples? Cause like it really opened my eyes, and you know God was giving her a whole bunch of signs and red flags when it came to this man, and she chose to ignore them, you know. And you know now she, I know she'll know whenever she's ready to move on. Oh, and then he promised her. I see. I, I can't remember stuff. He promised her this BMW X5. Okay. Don't know that much about BMWs, but, you know, it was a really fire car. And then, you know, for her birthday, because February 15th, uh, she wanted, uh, he said that he got her trip for London. You know, he printed up a fake itinerary. Lies. It was all lies. Like, seriously, but it was so much fun to watch. Like, I finished it in maybe two days, maybe, because, you know, your girl had to do stuff, uh, like, life, life stuff. Uh, but, um, yeah, it was very good. If y'all want to watch it, it's on here just look up her name Risa Tisa and um yeah but I will see y'all next time bye <laughs>